cover up. That's really quick thinking. I would just stand there and be like, help. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today we have a story time. Yay, I love story times. I'm just so happy to share this with you guys. And the topic of this story time is biggest mess ups at work. Specifically in Japan this time. The reason I came to making this video is because I realized that being bilingual, you can witness and read and hear about different stories and different languages. So whenever I'm on Twitter, I see all these funny Japanese tweets about people's work mess ups and it's really funny and it's really viral. But I feel like not many of the English speaking population know about it. So I'm like, might as well share some stories because they brought me laughter and I felt a little better about myself. We all make mistakes in life, so why not? talk about it today and I thought it wouldn't be fair to just share people's stories that I found online so I will tell you mine first my biggest mess up I don't know if this counts as a mess up but it was my first day of working at a sushi restaurant and we would carry pens in our back pockets but my pen ripped through my pants and for the entirety of my shift it looked like I had something up my ass so yeah that is my biggest mess up if you can call it that but yes I have saved screenshots of the stories I want to share with you guys so anyways here we go Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This shirt that I'm wearing today is from my friend Vina, also known as Mikan here on YouTube. So thank you Vina for this shirt. I really like it. It's really comfy and cute. She got it for my birthday. Anyways, let's go. People's biggest mess ups at work. I woke up and it was already my clock in time. I would totally have a panic attack and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I was fighting off. Sleep. I was talking to a customer over the phone and I was trying to say hi and eh. Both are like yes, like a polite form of yes, hi and eh. But I accidentally said hey instead. Hey. When I was working on Christmas Day, I wanted to show some holiday spirit. So when I was working at the register, I was trying to say Merry Christmas to a customer, but what came out was meh 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 heh, like a newborn goat. <laughs> Meh, 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 meh. Merry Christmas. I mean, I have anxiety, so I already sound like that, not even on Christmas. <laughs> this was on my third day of working at my new job. I usually went to the gym right after work, but I forgot to bring my protein drink with me. So I texted my mom, emergency, I need my protein ASAP. Turns out it wasn't my mom, but I had texted my boss. If I was that boss, I would bring him a nice rotisserie chicken just to joke around with him. I told my coworker that I'm gonna get married soon, and that coworker also was gonna get married real soon as well. We decided to go tell our boss together and we said we're gonna get married and our boss thought that we are gonna get married to each other. Oh man, it's like congratulations guys. So in Japan you have to exchange business cards like the proper way when you meet someone you're doing business with so you go like this but in this case OP said hajimemashite meaning nice to meet you and then accidentally took out <laughs> accidentally took out his card for his butt doctor his like ID thingy for his butt doctor and he was so embarrassed but the other person that was trading business cards with him also said hajimemashite and took out a card for his urinary doctor <laughs> and that's when I thought we would be good business partners oh man can you just imagine like nice to meet you here's my butt doctor card I say butt doctor but it's like anus doctor I don't know like it says komonka I don't know what that translates to in English but basically the doctor that you go to when you have butt problems. I should have went after that pen incident. I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I was working at a movie theater, there was a movie called A Monster's Child and another one called My Heart Wants to Scream and I was in charge of announcing the movie and I accidentally said from 1 p.m. we will be showing Monster Wants to Scream and I said it loud and proudly across the whole entire movie theater. <laughs> monster wants to scream who's the real monster though it's inside of us when i was still young and when i was working at a drugstore an old man comes up to me and says where is the tenga and if you don't know what tenga is it's an adult toy made for guys so op goes hold on a second and then announces to the whole store i need support on aisle one this person is looking for a tenga all of op's co-worker comes running to them and try to explain the situation and o op feels bad and embarrassed that she made the old guy feel embarrassed embarrassed as well. I feel like I would have made the same mistake. When I was working at an izakaya, there was this customer that would come to the izakaya frequently. This time it was with a lady. And then the customer goes, I come here pretty often, right OP? And the OP goes, yeah, thank you so much. You're always here with your wife. And the woman goes, oh, so you do have a wife. 
<laughs> oh man i'm glad i did not have this kind of situation i don't know how i would survive that ship i mean i saved the lady some trouble but i lost the customer at the same time <sighs> when i was working at a retirement home i was so nervous that when they told me to just take the blood pressure of the people there i grabbed the nearest old guy's arm and tried taking a blood pressure only to be told that's an employee <laughs> Like, excuse me, I work here. <laughs> I was working at a fast food chain and I was in charge of drive through that day. Usually, I'm supposed to say, hello, can you please say your order to the mic? But I accidentally said, hello, can you please say hello to the mic? And the customer goes, H hello. <laughs> And that's it, hello, goodbye. No orders, just a greeting. When I was working at Lawson, which is a convenience store in Japan, there was this really scary gang member looking type of man that came in and he was asking for jam, like jelly that you put on bread and stuff. But I didn't hear that right. And I asked, are you looking for jabu? Jabu means like drugs. And the OP just asked that directly. Oh, are you looking for some drugs, sir? It's on aisle eight. <laughs> Man, a poor guy, he was just looking for some jam. My mom was working at a hotel restaurant and even though the restaurant was already too full, she accidentally tried to take two people to the seats. And since there were no seats, they went around the whole restaurant. And at the end of it, she had to say, as you can see, the restaurant is full. <laughs> That's a good cover up. That's really quick thinking. I would just stand there and be like, Help. I was working in an office and while I was eating lunch, the phone rang. And since I was at the last bite of my lunch, the first word I said when I took the phone call is sama desta, Which means thank you for the food basically <laughs> Oh man, I wonder if the person was like Doidashimashite I was working at a wedding venue and when the couple was leaving at the end of their wedding I accidentally said, please come again <laughs> It's like, I hope you guys have another wedding someday with someone else Or maybe they took it as with the same person to renew their vows Let's hope Oh man, but anyways, those were <laughs> Man, I can't get over some of them Ooh. So those were some of the biggest work mess ups that people have had here in Japan So I definitely feel better about me also making mistakes as well because we all do make mistakes mistakes let me know down in the comment sections which one was your favorite because i don't know i can't choose my favorite probably was um my favorite probably was when the boss thought two people were two co-workers were getting married to each other ah uh, i don't know if that's a mess up on the workers part or the boss who knows it could be both ah <sighs> but anyways if you guys want me to do these kind of videos in the future please do let me know because i do enjoy reading these and sharing it with you guys so yeah if you enjoyed it definitely do let me know and if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell notification that would mean so much to me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye